Worries loom for the used car market, and I'm talking about dealers soiling the backside of their britches right now. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Hobart Guy, coming to you live from Chili Wilson, North Dakota, here today with the amazing Elizabeth, the Hobart Gal. Worry by dealers is dominating the headlines over at Automotive News Liz. Right. Many used car dealers say high retail prices and rising interest rates creates a one-two punch that will further discourage consumers concerned about affordability and potentially shut more of them out of the used car market. That potential for shutout reduces demand and makes prices fall even faster than they are. Yes, dealers are wary about their used vehicle prospects in 2023 after worsening market conditions led used vehicle sales to tumble last year. But while used vehicle sales are expected to drop again this year, dealers and used vehicle experts don't expect the hit on consumer demand and profits to be too severe early in the year. Supporting that viewpoint, wholesale used vehicle prices are down significantly from last year's record highs. Like 22%. Right. But as of yet, we haven't seen a spectacular crash. New vehicle supply has improved at the start of 2023, and we expect to hear more good news on that front soon. But the bottom line is, until new vehicle inventory is fully recovered, the need for used vehicles remains elevated. Even so, major economic concerns loom, and many dealers say high retail prices and rising interest rates are definitely creating the one-two punch I mentioned earlier, which will prove to discourage consumers concerned about affordability and potentially shut more of them out of the market altogether. We genuinely hope that is the case, and so far, buyers who typically showed knee-jerk enthusiasm for buying cars have practiced some constraint. Good on you guys. <laughs> the big risk to sales volume and profits in 2023 has led dealers to step back and reevaluate the used vehicle business strategies they put in place in 2021 and early 2022. I'm talking about the greed. When consumers had more cash to spend, interest rates were low, and weak new vehicle supply inflated the importance of and the opportunity to purchase used vehicles. Sure. We're seeing evidence of that right now in the daily black book values we are providing to interested viewers. There are still the occasional extra clean retail price offerings out there, way too much money, you guys, but that's limited to given areas and certain types of vehicles. Those big fat asking prices are disappearing fast. Brandon Groves, owner of Sherwood Groves Auto Group of Tawanda, Pennsylvania, near Scranton said, my opinion of 2023 is going to be dismal compared to what we just had, which was a super high point. Well, Brandon, we're rooting for dismal for you and every dealer out there that practiced price gouging at the high point that you're describing. The used vehicle market shifts compelled dealers like Groves to start retailing older vehicles with higher mileage, something his dealership group didn't usually do. Yeah. But he is seeing more cash-strapped shoppers seeking less costly, higher mileage cars and trucks. Well, friends, if we just described you, there are plenty of resources out there that can help you get a vehicle from an auction. Yes. On the note of higher mileage vehicles, Brendan Gross said, I normally wouldn't, but we sold the 2015 Ford F-250 with 80,000 miles on it the other day. Shoot, Brendan, that's not high mileage. No. That's a truck that's just getting broken in, in my opinion. Richard Fitzpatrick, dealer principal of Crest Lincoln of Woodbridge in Connecticut, agrees that buyers are waiting. He said he is seeing more potential buyers saying they are pushing off buying for used vehicles for two to six months in the hopes that prices recede to a more comfortable level. Smart car buyers right there. Yes, but even with that consumer uncertainty, used vehicles remain a critical part of business in 2023, said Fitzpatrick. He told Automotive News he's doubling his dealership's efforts to increase used vehicle volume even as gross profit per vehicle declines. Okay. He also is retailing older used vehicles, including some acquired when wholesale values were higher. Those values have fallen in the last four to five months. Fitzpatrick has put into place major emphasis with major incentives for the sales team members to sell used cars. Remember that, you guys. Something everyone should be aware of. To get a good car deal if you're shopping right now, you'll have to work for it. Like our viewer, Many Feather Two Knives said, don't wet your pants. <laughs> because prices are dropping some. Hang in there, they'll go lower. Hey, you guys always give me the funny comments on purpose. <laughs> yes, we do. Huh. Kevin responded by saying, they are in a free fall right now, so we are cautioning people to wait a bit longer or they will end up underwater on their vehicle purchase. Friends, we published enough helpful information for you that nobody should be getting bad car deals right now. I also want to respond to viewers in given areas who are seeing dealers stuck in the past on high prices. Viewer Frank commented on a video we recently published about prices plummeting. He says, I don't know what market he's looking at, but certainly not on the West Coast. We've looked into dozens of late model and low mileage 2021 and 2022 used SUVs from several manufacturers 
And in comparing the original new MSRP to the current used sale or reduced price, we find that many are priced above or at least within a few dollars of their new yeah. MSRP. The only savings to be had by buying used over new is that you're not paying the market adjustment the dealers are charging on their new vehicles. Frank, here's the deal. If you follow the housing market ups and downs, you'll see some home values crashing in given areas of the country first. It means if you're selling your home or in the market to buy one, you should play it smart in your own market, even sure. if home prices aren't down around you, or you'll get stuck in a bad deal. The same is true here of cars. The dam breaks somewhere that precipitates into other markets. Buyers flock to the lower price regions until prices fall at home. Right. It's kind of like the gas station in your community with the lowest prices. They get all the business until the others come down in price too. We recommend that you expand the scope of your search if dealers around you aren't moving down. Besides the West Coast, another really bad area I can think of is Phoenix, Arizona. Indeed. I'm seeing it with my book outs of vehicles that are in that area. And viewers like Hawk and AZ confirms this. He writes, been watching your videos and implementing your recommendations. All worked prior to COVID. Now in the market for another vehicle and I'm really hitting the wall. The dealers here in Phoenix are doing everything bad. Two to three thousand dollars of dealer add-ons that are supposedly non-negotiable, asking prices that are several thousand above fair market value, insane fees, etc. It's like pulling teeth to get an out-the-door price via text or email. All they want is for the buyer to come in. I try to make fair offers and either get completely ignored or shot down, hoping that if I wait a month or so, this will turn around. Let's unpack that comment. First, Hawken, if you really want a car right now, take your business outside of your area. Yep. You do yourself and other car buyers a favor by letting those local Phoenix dealers rot with their overpriced inventory and ridiculous fees. Yep. For those of you saying, well, Kevin, that's wonderful advice for someone who can actually leave the area to shop. But what about those of us who have no choice? We get that question from people we help via phone calls, email, or text. So let's cover that. The truth is we've given you so many arrows in your quiver that even if you're stuck shopping close to home, you can pretty much win wherever you are forced to shop. You just have to be seriously tough or just wait if you think you don't have what it takes to hold a dealer's feet over the fire. I can't stand being lied to, so that's why I go in armed for bear. Those non-negotiable fees are easily removed by taking the FTC download on our website with you. Smack that baby down on the desk when they say their fees are non-negotiable. Here's what you say. You're behaving exactly like these dealers this document talks about. Do I need to file an FTC complaint on you right now? We've also received reports from consumers who have called the FTC while sitting in a dealership and had the FTC confirm that they had a valid complaint. Yeah. Do you have the spine to do this too? You can't blame us if you're not up to doing what it takes. And by the way, we totally agree with you that it should not be this tough. Yeah. If you choose to chat directly with the FTC, Here's their contact information appearing on the screen now, 202-326-3300. Like I said, I've been going through a lot of Black Book requests lately, as well as other staff members, and I found this screaming good deal that I had to share with our viewers. One of our viewers sent me the price quote on this 2022 Toyota RAV4 XLE, so it's one year old with 12,000 miles on it. We just told you today that one to two year old vehicles are selling for more than the new ones. However, this viewer got the sales price down to $29,595, which is below the expected average dealer retail value of $32,475 and below rough retail of $30,625. At $29,595, and don't worry, this person got the fake fees removed as well. This car deal is proof that the buyer's market is coming back in some areas, my friends. You know, most dealers are begrudgingly giving deals like this right now. But do you remember what we shared recently? Your first loss is your best loss. This dealer is ahead of the game. Totally. If you'd like to show us some love for producing quality car market updates and accurate car buying advice videos like this one, the links for tips appearing on the screen will be easy to find in the description box down below. PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. There's also the super thanks button down below the video. Our tip system was suggested to us by our viewing audience. Generous people asked for a way to donate to support our mission. And you know something, folks? Probably many of you are unaware of this, but when I was in the hospital, Several times we received donations from folks, perfect strangers, just viewers here on this channel, that were as much as a thousand bucks a pop. Yep. That was so much appreciated. If a tip isn't an option for you right now, that's no problem at all. Just show us some love by subscribing and recommending our videos to your family and friends. I also want to remind our viewers about our very generous offer for free car buying assistance. Yes, we are continuing that. You can text us at 701-441-3399 
or email us to kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com and you'll get an immediate auto response from the email with a roadmap for a successful car deal. If you're out walking the car lots and shopping right now, make sure you also see Kevin's playlist, THG's Savvy Car Buyers Homework Cram Session. And if you happen to be on Facebook, drop by and give us a like and a follow. And don't forget to visit our website too, thehomeworkguy.com. It's loaded with free resources for car buyers. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guy channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Join the fast-growing group of 384,000 subscribers and become a part of our family. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. And to all of our faithful subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.